memory, you know, of uh, that Phil Silver show, which was called Camp Paradise. Supposedly, Phil Silver's always got away with everything. And this particular time, Nat Hyken came over to me and said, look, this time we're going to change the ending. This was just before dress rehearsal. He said, you go into a sound just like a rooster. See what you can do, because the colonel is going to do his little dog imitations, you know. <laughs> the sort of thing that Phil Silver's always managed. He said that they were coming from the Ed Sullivan show, you see, in order to have him do the dog imitations. That's the other way. So uh, I said, fine, I'll do that. So the dog, the, the, the colonel did his dog invitations, and then I went into my rooster. Because well, after I finished it, the colonel who was looking over the whole camp took away the skis from uh, Bill Pilk, gave them to me, and said, I think that Captain Barker needs these more than you do. <laughs> In other words, to go to the rest camp. Now, my little story is the fact that I was born in Russia, and when I came here as a nine-year-old boy, I didn't speak a word of English, so English is an acquired tongue. And uh, the only rooster that I ever knew was before I came, before I was nine years old, and it was a Russian rooster. So here at dress rehearsal, I was doing a Russian rooster, because he came over to me not hiking and said, uh, everything was fine, your timing, the way you looked, you go, everything was just great, but work on that rooster a little bit. And I said, work on that rooster? I wonder what he means. And I realized that I was doing, Kukanikoo, Kukanikoo, which was a Russian rooster instead of cock a little do. <laughs> and I just managed to change it whatever it is time. <laughs> if I were a spy for the uh, yeah, Russian, for the army or whatever it is and tried to give myself away, I'd be shot, you see. In other words, if I, if I were working in intelligence and I did something like that, in spite of all the English that I might know, if I all of a sudden I did kukuri ku instead of cock a little do, uh, I would have been shot at sunrise. <laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway, since I was in the army, and I, I anyway I enjoyed working there very much and I'm enjoying this uh, afternoon, which is the 2nd of November, year 2000, and it's very nice for you, of you to come over here, you, and Steve, and Mick, and I hope to be seeing you again, and I'm awfully glad what you're doing for Phil. He deserves every, every moment of it.